Let me regale you with a tale from the late 90s, a time when the spotlight shone brightly on the enchanting Lisa Nicole Carson. Oh, she was the embodiment of an it girl, racing projects like Jason's Lyric, Love Jones, and Err. But it was in the year 1997 that she stepped into the shoes of Renee Raddick in the acclaimed legal drama Ally McBeal. Ah, you know, those judges frown upon lawyers representing themselves. The wind of fate whispered, and a curious incident ensued when she was handed a phone with a mission to reach someone from her office. Picture a future seemingly aglow for this Brooklyn Belle, her curves as captivating as her hometown skyline. A self-professed self-taught actress, armed with talent, beauty, an unyielding work ethic, and an effervescent charm that could light up a room. Yet, alas, a twist lay in wait a mental health diagnosis that cast shadows upon her career canvas, leading her to fade from the luminous world of entertainment. But, she revealed, I had an episode in New York at a hotel, and it got leaked out to the press. Quote dot. Back in 1995, a pivotal moment in her narrative unfurled. Quincy Jones, a maestro of discernment, handpicked her as the star of his TV masterpiece, Divas. After her audition, Quincy's verdict was crystal clear, this girl has it. Ah, the heart-pounding moment when she confessed to the Black Doctor website, I could have fainted, a cherished memory she held close. With this seal of approval, she embarked on a journey, landing roles like Morty in Jason's Lyric, a cascade of opportunities raining upon her. Essence Magazine, a chronicler of tales, captured her joy in words. A dancer of delight, she would twirl through sets, a whirlwind of exuberance. In the epic of 1996, the spotlight held her steadfast as she donned the role of Carla Reese in Err. A producer, wise in the ways of both showbiz and bipolarity, glimpsed echoes of the latter in Lisa's spirited aura. My dear, he shared, there's something worth considering. But the landscape of bipolar disorder was uncharted for her, an unfamiliar territory she dismissed with a wave, continuing her vibrant rhythm. Then dawned the pivotal year of 1997, the year of dual allegiance to Ally McBeal and Err. Ah, the query, will you persist in these shows? To which she replied, indeed, for as long as the intrigue holds me close. A whirlwind, her days were, packed to the brim, control seemingly in her grasp. Alas, life delights in the unexpected twist. A curtain drawn, revealing her first tryst with a phantom that shattered her equilibrium, a psychotic tempest. Whispers swirled, she veiled her unraveling, but beneath the surface, a storm brewed. In the chill of January 2000, New York cradled her in its arms, a visit to kin beckoning. A hotel room awaited her, a stage where the script took a twist unforeseen. A crescendo of emotions, a cacophony of shattered glass and anguished cries. The hotel's walls bore witness, and the ambulance's siren sang its mournful song. Within the walls of a psychiatric ward, she found herself, an unintended character in a narrative unfamiliar. A diagnosis echoed bipolar disorder, a symphony of highs and lows, the chemistry of her mind dancing to its erratic tune. She spoke of shock, of denial, even her kin grappling with the proclamation. Having returned to the embrace of Los Angeles, she resumed her place amidst the tapestry of Ally McBeal's world. Yet, in a twist that would reverberate, the pages of Star Magazine whispered her truth into the wind, casting her struggles into the public eye. And lo, as the tale took shape, Lisa's words to the Star Magazine representative unfolded with a startling crescendo. A night of revelry painted with hues of vodka, an intricate dance with substances that led her astray. A one-woman party, she confessed, a phrase that echoed in the minds of her fans. Eight days of revelry, a spiral into the depths, culminating in a fateful joint laced with PCP, a precipice where her world splintered. In her own words, she revealed, I think the joint may have triggered a collapse in my nervous system. Yet, dear enthusiasts, the labyrinth reveals more enigmatic corridors. Lisa unveiled that her very mother, a silent guardian, ushered her into the halls of Lenox Hill Hospital. Under the guise of Maggie Goodwin, Lisa sought the shadows to safeguard her essence. Within those walls, she endeavored to cleanse her being, a feat of willpower guided by the flow of water. Amidst this storm, uncertainty loomed like a tempest, the future of Ally McBeal a question mark that hung heavy in the air. As Star Magazine ignited the blaze, a wildfire of intrigue swept through other avenues. The New York Post joining the parade with its blazing headline, Ally Star went psycho. Imagine, the chills of revelation seeping into the very marrow of her existence. Lisa, in her candid moments with Essence magazine, bared her heart, recounting the devastation as the press dissected her like a puzzle. 
Ah, her sanctuary shattered, her tail spread wide. And so, a choice emerged, stark and unyielding to face the tempest head on. The ensemble of Ali McBeal, comrades in arms, stepped forth in a symphony of support. A video, a heartfelt gesture, offered like a shield against the tempest. Lisa shared the sweetness of their understanding, their wishes woven into the tapestry of pixels and sound. And yet, beneath their care, a shadow of worry took form. A tale of determination unfolded, as Lisa embarked on a quest to quell the cacophony within. With the determination of a warrior, she poured herself into her craft, the set becoming both canvas and battleground. And yet, as the curtain lowered, the refrain lingered, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. The echoes of her struggle reverberated, a haunting melody that marked a chapter unfinished, a quest unfulfilled. The tapestry of time takes us forward to 2001, a juncture where a call heralded both closure and uncertainty. Lisa, upon hearing that her contract for the fifth and final season of the show wouldn't be renewed, unleashed a cascade of tears that flowed unabated for a week. Amidst the enigma of their decision, a resolute Lisa harbored no ill will, a testament to her character. In a bold move, she retraced her steps to her roots, the heart of New York City, a city that held her past and her family. Among its bustling streets, Lisa's journey towards control took form, guided by the hands of diverse doctors, a symphony of treatments and medications. A symphony punctuated by breakdowns, their echoes resounding, and then, 2004 arrived, bearing a tempest that eclipsed the rest the most terrifying chapter she'd ever faced, a moment when the world seemed poised to crumble around her. From this abyss, strength arose, a declaration etched with determination. She placed her dreams on the back burner, embracing her battle with the ferocity of a warrior. In this quest, the right mood stabilizers emerged as her saviors, halting the manic tides. Amidst her journey, time emerged as an unexpected ally, allowing her to spend moments with her mother before her farewell in 2011. Grief, a dark tapestry, met its match in Lisa's resilience a medley of medication, prayer, music, and the loyal companionship of her dog. In 2014, Hollywood's embrace once again beckoned. Auditions, rejections her armor grew thicker, her spirit unfaltering. The TV Land Awards, an Ally McBeal reunion in April 2015, unfolded as a triumphant moment, a resplendent return to the fold. 2017, the year of resurgence, saw her portraying Ricky Bell's mother in the new edition miniseries. And yet, despite these glimmers, a quietude enveloped her show business journey. The 20th anniversary celebration of Love Jones added color to the narrative. Her presence a nod to history. Yet, from these peaks, Lisa retreated, her presence on the stage of show business a sporadic cameo. As her tale reaches its current chapter, Lisa's voice resonates, a beacon of hope for others navigating their own tempests. In her final interviews, the message remains steadfast emerging victorious from the depths is a rare feat, but it's a feat that can be achieved. Dot. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and remember, no matter how daunting the path may seem, Lisa's tale teaches us that we can overcome, that we can emerge stronger than ever before. Until next time, my friends, stay curious, stay resilient, and may your own stories shine bright amidst the tapestry of life.